All right, so let's do finding the slant asymptote. We never actually did one of these, but all again it is is you just have to divide. And so when the numerator is greater than the denominator by one, then you just take and divide the denominator into the numerator. And so when we do that, we'll have 2x plus 1 into 24x squared plus 6x plus 0. Now again, you could use the... Uh, synthetic division, but because sometimes you're going to end up with an x squared in the denominator, uh, I'm just going to do long division like this and, and not worry about it. All right, so 2x times what gives me 24x squared? Well, that's going to give me uh, 12x. And so 2x times 12x is 24x squared. And 1 times 12 is going to be plus 12x. I subtract off the whole thing. So 6x minus 12x is a minus 6x. Bring down our 0. So 2x times what gives us a minus 6x? Well, times a minus 3. That's minus 6x. And then minus 3. Again, we subtract off the whole thing. That gives us 3. But all we care about is this. We don't want the remainder. And so our slant asymptote. is equal to y equals 12x minus 3, okay? And so that's how we find the slant asymptote. Same thing works on, say, the second one here. Uh, we take our 3x minus 2 into, now we have 81x squared plus 0x. Remember, we have to fill in all the spaces that are missing, and then minus 18. So 3 times what gives us 81? Well, 3 times 27, and then times x. And so that's going to give us 81x squared, and then minus, and that's going to give us uh, 54x. And if we subtract that off, that's going to give us plus 54x, and then minus 18. And 3 times what gives us 54? 3 times, it looks like 18. And that's going to give us uh, 54x minus uh, 36. Subtract all that off. That's going to give us plus 18. Again, we don't care about the remainder. All we worry about is what the quotient is. And so our slant asymptote is y equals 27x plus 18. So when you're doing a graph of that, that's going to be way high up on the graph by 18, and then you're going to have a very, very steep uh, slope, 27 over 1. So it's going to go up 27 over 1, up 27 over 1. So it's going to be uh, a strange-looking uh, line, but that's that's what it's going to be. And again, this would be one of those that if you drew it, it's going to be hard to draw exactly, and you're just going to have to kind of get into uh, an approximate state there. Okay.